It's national meets regional. It's sidewalks entertainment. The long running celebrity. Music. And art series. Join us for a new path to arts and entertainment. Our guest today is a veteran actress of both the stage and screen, having made a name for herself starring opposite Ethel Merman on Broadway in the classic production of Gypsy. Most recently, she can be seen in About Schmidt, Welcome to Mooseport, and Nebraska. I'd like to welcome June Squibb to Sidewalks. Hi, Cindy. Hello, June. How are you today? Great. It's so wonderful to have you with us on Sidewalks. We are, have been so excited to have you today. That's lovely. Thank you. <laughs> so I know that you are originally a Midwestern girl. Yes, How did you Illinois. Sort of, from you know Illinois. what? I'm an Illinois. I'm an Illinois girl too. A Central Illinois girl. You're kidding, Cinco. I'm, I'm Vandalia. not kidding. Vandalia, Illinois. You know, I've heard that town many, many times in yeah. my life. I'm originally from Decatur, Illinois. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Just a stone's throw. Not too well, far. like 60 miles apart. There you go. Well, see, we already have a lot in common. You're right. So how does an Illinois girl find her way to Hollywood? How did she get started as an actress? Well, I always used to think of myself as an actress. I didn't even say I wanted to. I always said I am. And <laughs> <laughs> I danced and did everything I could in school, any sort of uh, acting or show, anything. I was right there. And then I went to the Cleveland Playhouse from uh, Illinois, and I spent five years there. It was a regional theater, one of the first, actually. And I went to New York from that then. And I, I loved New York and lived there for years until about two or three years ago, I finally gave up my New York apartment and I'm living in California now. Wow, well, California is very different from New York. That oh, is true, very. but yeah. some amazing times you must have had. And of, of course, performing on Broadway. Yeah. What an amazing experience that, that is. That was exciting, it really was. And it was a great period. The, 60s, 70s, 80s. I mean, some of our best musicals especially came out of that period. For sure. What was it like working with Ethel Merman in Gypsy? Well, she was great. I used to think of her as a housefrau. She was sort of like that. She loved gossip. She always wanted to know what was happening in the company. And she would tell me a dirty joke every night. There was one point in the in Gypsy where we were on either side of a scrim together, and she told me a dirty joke every night. She'd say, "June, June, come over here," and I'd go over where she was, and she would tell me a joke. Oh my gosh, that's amazing! <laughs> now, did you have any trepidation at all about sort of taking on sort of a stripper role? I mean. Did you no, worry at all about that? No, I was a dancer. I did quite a bit of dancing at that point and was doing a lot of musicals uh, I did in Cleveland and then in New York as well. And uh, I never thought much about it. You know, it was a role. <laughs> and right. that wonderful number, you know, you got to get a gimmick. We did that every performance. And that was, a, I mean, that was so beautifully choreographed by Jerome Robbins. It was just a gem. Mm, for sure. Well, I am sure you didn't have to think twice when you were offered the role of Kate Gramp oh, in the God, feature no. film Nebraska. Oh, no, that was just reading that script gives me shivers. I'm thinking about it again because the first time it was like every page was a revelation, you know, of, of, of the writing and who these people were. It was great. There's Woody's little sister, Rose. She was only 19 when she was killed in a car wreck near Wassa. What a whore. Mom. No, I like Rose, but my God, she was a slut. Come on. Now, I'm just telling you the truth. Where's your family? Oh, they're over in the Catholic cemetery. Catholics wouldn't be caught dead around all these damn Lutherans. <laughs> Here's Delmer, Woody's cousin. He was a drunk. One time we were wrestling and he felt me up. Grabbed a handful of boob and Woody was right there and didn't have a clue, did you, Woody? For those that haven't seen the film, why don't you tell us a little bit about the story? 
okay, there's a, an elderly man, Woody Grant, and uh, he's uh, going into senility, and uh, he thinks he's won a million dollars at one of the sort of like publishers' clearinghouse things. And right. so he's determined to go to Lincoln, Nebraska to uh, collect his million dollars. And I play his wife, Kate, and we grew up in a small town in Nebraska, but we now live in Billings, Montana. And he talks his younger son into taking into driving him to uh, Nebraska to collect this money. And the son knows there's no million dollars, but he feels that maybe he can get to know his father better by doing this road trip. And in the middle of the road trip in Nebraska, he has some falls, and so they have to stop and they go to uh, family. They stay with family. And I come to Nebraska, and the other son comes to Nebraska. So the whole family is there in Nebraska. And it's really about family, about family, how this family of four deal with each other, but also larger family, because we see all of our family in uh, Nebraska. Sure. Well, of course, you know, the lead characters are, are of, of the amazing Bruce Stern and, and Will Forte plays your son. Yes. What was it like working with these great actors? Oh, it was wonderful. Bruce is such a good actor. He really is. And he and I have sort of the basically same training. And so we, we sort of knew how the other one, when we found this out, we realized, uh, you know, how the other one worked. So it was, it was just a joy to work with him. Will, of course, has the comedy background, but he has become and was, I think, in this film, just a brilliant young actor. He fulfilled everything that Alexander saw in his tape and in talking to him, you know, in, in the, the uh, audition uh, process. So I, I just right. think he was wonderful in it. Now you got to really shoot all over kind of the plains and, and the Midwest for the for this film. Mm -hmm. What? How did the towns? Uh, did you have a favorite place to visit? And how did the towns sort of respond to having this movie crew kind of take over their town? <laughs> well, they were wonderful. <laughs> they we stayed at an inn in Norfolk, Nebraska. The whole crew did. Everybody did. Uh, and uh, they were wonderful. They couldn't have been lovelier in terms of our needs or, you know, what anything we wanted. They had a swimming pool, which I loved, and uh, two restaurants. So, you know, I stayed pretty much there. Uh, there was a Target <laughs> near, and every time you went to Target, of course, you saw everybody from the movie <laughs> movie there. That's where everybody spent their extra time, I think. That's right. Well, you know, you've you've been in the business a long time, June. Uh, as we close, what kind of a what was the best advice that you ever received, and who gave it to you about being an actor? About being an actor. Well, I think that. And I don't remember who even said this to me. Well, yes, I do. The first time it really meant something. My husband was an acting teacher. And uh, I, I certainly wouldn't be working in films, I feel, if it weren't for him. And he always felt that you had to sort of go your own way. I mean, you learned how to work. But it's, it's very, you know, you're always being told, do this, do that. And you have to sort of make your own path. And he was the one that, that really sort of made me understand that. June, it was such a pleasure to meet you today. I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for being with us today on Sidewalks. Thank you, Cindy. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. For more full-length celebrity interviews, visit SidewalksTV.com.